Hey everyone! Today we will show you our equipment. For filming I'm using a Sony Alpha 6100 in the Silver Edition. I will skip the specs but you can find links in the video description for everything we show you today. Right now I'm filming with the kit lens which came with the camera. It comes with a focal length of 16 to 50 millimeters and an aperture of 3.5 to 5.6. I'm mostly using this lens. It's the Sony 18 to 105 millimeter f4 lens. It's really nice for filming. I also got this one here, the Sigma 30 millimeter 1.4 lens. For the microphone, I got a Rode VideoMic Go. I might upgrade for the new Rode Wireless Go too. Maybe one day. <laughs> Years ago, I got the cheap uh, tripod from the brand Benro, but it served me well so far. Right now, I'm using my Elgato Keylight as the light source. I also have a cheap softbox I got from Gonzer.ch. I also have this small but powerful LED light from Aperture. It's great for backlighting something. For our Awaken music video, we used this gimbal. It's the DJI Ronin SC. I think it supports up to 2 kilograms of payload, therefore, it's perfect for my setup. I got it on sale too, and I'm loving it. Because I'm diving a lot, I bought this GoPro. It's the GoPro Hero Black 7. I have a lot of special diving accessories like filters, handles, cases and so on. My newest purchase is this video monitor. It's the Free World 7 inches video monitor. We used it in the burger challenge video from Digitech. You can find the video here in the description. <laughs> For carrying around all my gear I used this awesome Peak Design backpack. I love the colors and that you can open it on the sides to get access to all your stuff. Of course, I have a lot of cables, battery banks, battery chargers, lens filters and mounting equipment for all my stuff. So this is everything I have. So now Svenja will tell you what is her equipment. Hello and welcome to my studio. And when we walk in, we have on the right side a Volimax backdrop system with a Savage background paper in black. Then we have the part where I do all the makeup stuff. On the left side we have a table to work on, a nice monitor for my models and then we have my 3D printers and then we have a lot of costumes. Then we have my two Wallimax Daylight 250. For my Wallimax system I also have a UV lamp. If you want to know more about the makeup or costume part, tell me in the comments below and I will make a video about it. And now we go further with the equipment that I have for filmmaking and photography. First we have the Beam C LED lights. I have two of them and I always use them to set some light points on pictures. Or I use it here in the stop motion movie where the red and orange shine is coming from the LED light. Then I have the HQ Power Strobo. With this you can make really nice film effects if you need some thunder or for horror movies. For the sound quality I use the Rode USB NT Mini. I do most part voiceovers. So I don't need a portable microphone and Martina already has a portable microphone. Then I newly got the Montana Scout Max Stative with the... I don't know how it's called. With this. You can mount this on the stative and mount the camera here so the camera can face down over something. When we made our Ayumu Vision stop motion with the cookies and the, the sweets, uh, it looked like this. Yeah. Now you know why I needed a new st stative. <laughs> then I have three trusty cameras. First I got the Nikon Coolpix 7700. 
it was a gift and I really liked it, but it's a little camera. I use it only for filmmaking now, I don't take pictures with it. Then I have the Nikon D7100. This was long my only camera that I used for everything. Now I got myself the Nikon Z50. The Z50 is the best version of all the things I needed right now. With all the cameras I have different objectives. I have the kit objectives for the D7100. It's an 18mm to 200mm. I was gifted a 50mm objective. Uh, then I have a 105mm macro ob objective that I use to photograph my shrimps in my tank. And then I have the two kit objectives for the Z50. The one is the 16 to 50 millimeter and the other is the 50 to 250 millimeter. For my Z50 I also have the F2C bayonet thingy so I can use all my old lenses on my new camera. All the things you saw like the lights and everything is for my studio. And now we go to the equipment that I need outside. And for that I have the Montana Urban backpack where my Z50 and the, the two kit lenses fit in. For outside photography I have a small little stative. Um, it's the Hanna Star 700s. It's very lightweight and it's very cheap. Then, of course, I have a reflector for outside photography. It's the Wallimax 107cm silver and gold, so I have warm and cold light to reflect. Also, I have the Jung Nuo YN560E V flare. It's for photographing outside uh, people. Um, then I have the little Loom Cube Go for filming outside. Um, with this little light you can make a lot of light effects. You can put it in cold light or warm light. Um, you can have it with the diffuser on or without the diffuser. It's portable, it's super light. And of course, because you need some cleaning stuff for the camera, I have a Rolei Pro cleaning kit. And that's right now everything I have to do all the videos we are doing. I hope you liked this little overview of our stuff we already have to make our films and videos and photos and makeup and everything. And we will see you in two weeks. Bye!